with all these COVID cases popping up and obviously the numbers going uh, on an incline again. Are there Zoom calls now trying to figure out if if you guys can keep doing this week after week? Um, I'm not involved in those conversations, but I know they're definitely happening. I think we had Boston and Philadelphia dates rescheduled for later this summer, Mm -hmm. and we pushed those out till 2021. Yeah. And, you know, now the show in Jacksonville, especially with, you know, the the cases in Florida skyrocketing, uh, I think everyone is very concerned about that. And I know when the, the, the quarantine first started, there was so many conversations about, well, what, if we can't do a live show, what are we going to do? And, you know, how, how do we handle this? And or if, if we don't have new content to put up, what is the thing? And I think those conversations are most likely being revisited, not even right now, probably probably starting weeks ago. And I, I think there's got to be plans A, B, C, D, E, and F there. Yeah, because there's wrestlers, I mean, you know, people on staff, on screen, that are not the age of Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford. There is Jake the Snake Roberts and Jim Ross and people who are in the demographic of those who have to be very careful about what they're getting in front of. Yes, and, you know, and I think part of you know, what AEW did in terms of testing and, you know, ensuring everyone's safety really makes the older members of our of our staff feel comfortable coming to work. When we arrive in Jacksonville, basically we're blood tested at the hotel, we get our temperature check, we do all that. But then uh-huh. after after the show is over, we all go back to the hotel. There's food there waiting for us. You know, it's, it's not a completely closed bubble, but when we're in Jacksonville, we're in as much of a bubble as we possibly can. And that, I think, goes a long way to providing reassurance to the the people that, and, you know, I mean, there are people that are younger people, but, you know, through, you know, medical conditions or whatever, you know, like for myself, there's a, there's a big history of heart disease in my family. And so even though I'm, you know, relatively young and healthy, it's still something that's in the back of my mind. So, so knowing how the company has, has done as much as, as we can to, to make sure everybody's safe. That goes, you know, goes a long way in making me, and I think everybody else feel comfortable coming to work. 